The Zacks rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zacks rank buys. Here's a couple of interesting aggressive growth stocks that our aggressive growth strategist Brian Bolin wants you to know about, one having to do with technology and the other one wood, right? Right. What an unlikely combination <laughs> yeah, that is! It's really difficult to uh, to work a pun into uh, into this pairing. Yeah, it is. But you know, but I was uh, going to let you take care of that. But you know, sometimes I always, when I do these, not always, but most of the time, I look for these uh, strong growth scores. Yes. And, and these uh, stocks both have that. Okay. So we'll start with Pixelworks. It is a number one uh, Zach's rank strong buy. Mm -hmm. We always love to see that, but it's got uh, the thing that I always love to see here: an A for growth. And an F for value. Well, it's I, got an A for momentum too. It's too many. An a, A's a, yeah, well, you. there is an A for momentum, but I don't really look at the momentum so <laughs> oh, much. Oh, okay. Cancel that out. Right. Cancel that. But A okay. for growth, F for value. That is what I like to call divergence. The divergence, Terry. Yeah. Very good. That's right. So uh, it tells me right away that growth investors are looking at this stock. Value investors are not. I'm already on uh, the right track for this uh, chip concern company. And they also make the software that uh, helps you display all that uh, stuff you stream. The, right, right, right. All that uh, the, the broadband, stock, stuff. the broadband stock information that yeah. I have to look at the time and sales data, the intricacies of balance sheets, and right, all that stuff, all that nonsense. Yep, and videos on the Zacks website, of course, oh, as absolutely. well. So if we want to know why this stock is a Zacks rank number one, we can see it's because the earnings estimates have been moving up. We see from 18 cents to 23 cents for this year. Next year, not so much. A little bit of a concern there because the growth isn't really there. Maybe the visibility isn't fully uh, in, in the scope of things there. If we take a look that there's been uh, some excellent beats here, uh, and I can I just look along this line here, and I see one meat in there but for the for the average here 150 percent positive earnings surprise quick jump over to the chart we see it's been all good here uh, for the last very long time last you know two years basically stocks going straight up here uh, recent pullback in chip names uh, with this tech sell off yeah this is one to keep on your list because it is a low priced uh, stock okay. uh, could be something worth sticking on your radar. Not participating in that whole sell-off thing? It is uh, to a degree, but uh, because it's a smaller based uh, company, smaller stock, you know, it's not seeing as much selling pressure as some of the other bigger names. All right. And then uh, Boise Cascade, uh, they're into wood products. So would you like Whatever to hear more? Whatever that means. Would you like, would you like to hear more yeah, about this? Sure. It's the number one. A for value and growth. Right? Yeah, and knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> it stays that way. So right. it's just uh, Zach's rank and number one strong buy. A for growth, A for value, no divergence there, mm -hmm. but that's okay. Uh, earnings ESP here, 23%. I noticed this, but I think that's because it's just recently had an earnings event, and the next earnings isn't coming till the end of February. If we take a look at those earnings estimates, boy, we can see them inching higher and then boom. You know, big move there, almost 30 cents, you know, more than 30 cents if you look at it today in terms of 60 days to 90 days ago. And then next year, uh, looking pretty good, too. Earnings estimates continuing to move higher there. You know, nothing, no downward uh, revisions, all positive revisions. And if we look, you know, here's the, a good size beat right here, 32 cents, and that comes after a little miss. Taking a look at the chart here, boy, oh, boy, last two years, uh, up, up, and away here. Uh, Things are looking good here. The stock is running away a little bit from the estimates. So the valuation, you know, if we, if we think about this in terms of is the stock cheap or not, uh, from this chart, I can tell you that it, it kind of feels like this one might be getting expensive unless these earnings estimates move up in a, in a much uh, bigger way. You know, we can see here that the estimates, the stock followed the estimate down. Uh, we need these estimates to continue to move higher if this stock is going to continue to move higher as well. All right. Do you own either of these? I do not. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Sure. Always a pleasure. Oh, it's a pleasure. The pleasure's mine, Terry. I thought so. <laughs> and in the meantime, uh, while Brian and I sort all these comments out, uh, if you want to take a look at uh, some articles maybe that Brian has written about different uh, concepts, stock stories as well, stock picks, stock picking strategies, all of that on our website, zax.com. And you can link to it all right from the homepage with Brian. I'm Terry Ruffalo.